Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the new firmware 3.1.3 from Apple on your second generation iPod Touch. This jailbreak should not be done by anyone with any iPod Touch 3G, with any iPhone 3GS, or with an iPod Touch 2G with a model number starting with MC. So, first thing you're going to want to do is download Red Snow 0.9.4, links in sidebar as always. And before you do this, as a prerequisite, you will also need a copy of the 3.1.2 firmware, which I can also put in the description. So start Red Snow, browse for the IPSW, and first thing you're going to want to do is update to 3.1.3. And then once you do that, you will, of course, be updated to 3.1.3. Then you're going to want to browse for the 3.1.2. This is a loophole that the dev team figured out and they released this special version of Red Snow to allow you to do this. You select the 3.1.2 but it works for 3.1.3. So you're just going to click open and now it's going to process the firmware. And I've only found that certain firmwares work, like certain ones won't work, certain copies, and so I'll post a link to the one that I used. Is this an MC model of iPod Touch 2G? No, it's not. Okay, now we do next. Connecting to server, now it's doing all its wonderful stuff. Now we're going to install Cydia. And now we have to turn the iDevice off and make sure it's plugged in. But you have to plug it in before you turn it off, because if you turn it off and then plug it in, it comes back on. The reason why we're doing this is because we are preparing to put it into DFU recovery mode. Okay, now that it's off, we're going to click next, and then you're going to want to hold the power button for 10 seconds, hold both buttons, or hold the power button for 3 seconds, hold both buttons for 10 seconds, and then hold the home button for about 15 or so. So, next, power, 3, 2, 1, both, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, okay you get the picture. Now we're just going to hold the home button and keep holding it and you'll hear it go denoot and now it will start installing the recovery mode drivers and you can let off of the home button. Now here we go and now most of what you will see will happen on your iDevice. As you can see, we'll get the white screen, then we, well, I'll just let it speak for itself. Rebooting, white screen, rebooting. Now, most of what you'll see is happening on the iDevice. and now it says done. But what I've found is that you do not want to go ahead and click finish. I always wait until it has completely started back up because otherwise you run the risk of something going wrong. So I would I just always wait until the iPod has completely rebooted. And while it's doing this as you can see, I'm going to take the uh, short opportunity to mention is this new website that I've made, bbtechhelpbb.hostoy.com. I think that's how you say it. Why not? It is how I say it. And I've put some of my more popular videos up here. I've just made short blog posts on them. And put the videos in it. And I plan to do this just so we can see just so you have a place to watch all of the videos and then read a little bit about it if you're more of a text person than a visual person. As you can see on our iPod Touch 2G, the image has flashed to what appears to be the Quick Pawn Pineapple, and it appears to be running in some marathon or something. And it says flashing in OR. And it appears that my camera batteries have died. So, yeah. You will probably get to see part of this on, uh, you'll definitely get to see the first part of it. Now how exciting that is depends on you, but 
I'll just tell you what's happening. The iPod's gone off, and now we're coming back on with the Apple logo. Sorry about that. Stuff happens randomly sometimes. Yeah, now it's still just showing the Apple logo, and you probably just heard Windows 7 start back up, go do noon, and you probably just heard the iPod come back on. And sorry you can't see it, but all of my apps are still here, and now Cydia is here. So, like I said, sorry you can't see it, but I'll probably post a picture or something. Okay, well, thanks for watching. This has been How to Jailbreak an iPod Touch 2G with black rain, or not black rain, I keep wanting to say black rain because we haven't had red snow in such a long time, with red snow 0.9.4, and if you're bored, you can come on over and check out the new website. Bye.